Hello and welcome to the B9 Creator 3D Printer Hardware Overview video. Today we are going to take a look at many of the specific hardware features incorporated into the B9 3D Printer. Let's take a look at all the hardware which accompanies the B9 Creator. The pre-assembled unit comes with the feet in a retracted position and the handle has not yet been installed. You want to take a screwdriver and attach the handle to the hatch as well as extend the feet into the fully extended position. And that completes the setup for the pre-assembled B9 Creator. Additionally, you find we have a vat, uh, three parts for a sweeper, a build table, two thumb screws for the vat, and a larger thumb screw for the build table. Additionally, we have a tool set of hex wrenches Number three, the 764 inch hex wrench, will be required for calibrating the build table. The Vivitech projector comes with this remote control unit. However, it is not used during the normal operations. So go ahead and set it aside. You won't be using that. Also included is this VGA cable, which is used to hook your projector to your host computer. This is the power cord, which powers the projector. The USB printer cord connects your host computer to the B9 Creator 3D printer. And finally, the power supply for the B9 printer provides 12 volt power for the motors. Now this unit has multiple blades so you can pick the correct blade for your country and then simply snap it into place. This pre-assembled B9 Creator requires its feet to be extended and the handle attached. Here we uh, remove the lower screw, loosen the top screw for the left foot, rotate the foot into the correct position, and reinsert and tighten the screws. One interesting feature of the B9 Creator is that these feet can be removed and the unit can be attached to a wall. Finally, we've attached the handle to the hatch using a screwdriver, and this completes the setup for the pre-assembled B9 Creator. Let's take a look at the lower portion of the B9 Creator. As indicated here, this is the Vivitech D535 DLP projector. It has a zoom ring, as indicated here, which allows you to adjust between 50 and 100 micron settings during the projector calibration. There's also a focus ring, which can also be adjusted uh, between 150 microns during the calibration. And finally, notice the lens cap. Be sure to always replace the lens cap between printing operations. Looking at the projector from the rear, we see there is the uh, power port for the AC cord, an HDMI input port uh, to connect an HDMI cord to your host computer. That's one option. But the main option for ho hooking up the video to your host computer is through the VGA port indicated there. The adjustment knob indicated here is for moving the projector up and down during its calibration. When it's all the way down, that is for 100 microns, and when it's near the top, that is for 50 microns. When looking underneath the B9 Creator, we can also see the X-axis motor, the Z-axis stepper motor, and the electronics which control the printer, as well as various other wiring. The parts shown here are the parts that actually come into contact with the liquid resin. We'll talk about each one of them separately, but we wanted to point out that these parts should be cleaned after each use of the printer if you're not going to resume doing another print quickly afterwards. Now let's take a closer look at the vat. The vat is divided into a left half and a right half. We call the left half the deep end and the right half the window or exposure side or shallow end. And they're separated by what we call the waterfall, which is a drop off from the um, higher side on the right to the deeper side on the left. Also notice that on the right side, in the upper right corner, there's a notch. So when you install the vat, make sure that notch is in the upper right corner as you place it into position. Next, let's let's take a look at the removable sweeper. Now it has a frame and a flapper which fits into the slots on the frame. It's easily removed and it flaps around. That lets resin flow through. We also have a wiper which, with a slot in it which attaches to the bottom. 
Now during the operation of the printer, this wiper is critical in clearing the resin off the build area so that oxygen can re-oxygenate the PDMS, which pre prevents the print from becoming stuck to the bottom of the vat. Now let's take a look at the build table. The build table is where your object is actually attached during the process as it grows. It is attached to the gold arm with the long thumb screw for easy removal. Now this, is, uh, this part is made out of two separate pieces attached by these four screws. We can use the uh, hex wrench to loosen these screws and when we do, the build table has some vertical adjustment to it. Now this, uh, this adjustment is set during the build table calibration and the goal uh, being the to have the build table set down flush on the bottom of the PDM, PDMS when the build table is at the zero position. On this side of the computer you can see the USB port and the power port. The power port is for the uh, wall transformer and plugs in as seen here. To plug in the USB cable select the small end and insert it as seen here. Let's take a look at the inside of the B9 Creator. Use the handle to open the hatch and swing it forward. Note the amber colored windows. These prevent the blue light from uh, reaching the interior and curing the resin prematurely. Let's take a look at how the vat fits into the B9 Creator. Notice on the right hand side there is a window and then there's also a notch. This indicates the right hand side and should always uh, be placed into position that way. Make sure the uh, sweeper springs are also out of the way when you put the vat into place. Carefully guide it underneath the uh, gold lift arm and drop it into the notches. When you tighten the thumb screws on each side, uh, just do so snugly. You don't need to over tighten them as that may damage or crack the acrylic. The build table is removable. To install the build table, align the slots with the tabs on the gold arm and use the thumb screw to securely hold it in place. Now let's look at the sweeper installation. The sweeper fits into the vat, uh, making sure that both of these tabs are on the outsides of the sweeper support. They slide down into the slots like this and they're held in place by springs. The springs have a loop on the end and if you grab the little handle you can stretch it out and put the loop over the hook, this loop here over the hook on the sweeper like that on both sides and that holds the sweeper firmly against the bottom of the vat. Let's take a quick look at some of the electrical components in the upper portion of the uh, B9 Creator. At the top you note that there is a limit switch and then a similar one at the bottom. Now these limit switches are meant to stop the build arm from going too high or too low. If that happens, they, they engage and shut down the B9 creator. The, these are basically safety switches which normally would never get hit during the operation of the B9 creator. But if they do, you can always back the arm off the limit switch by turning the um, threaded rod manually until it has disengaged from these switches. Let's talk about the Z-axis gold arm. It moves vertically in what we call the Z-axis. The gold arm is at the home position, not when it's at the bottom of the vat, but when this uh, area of the red blade transits the optical sensor. Note the gold arm of the X-axis motor. It is used to slide the vat back and forth during the release cycle. We call this motion to the left and right from the gold arm here the X-axis motion. The Z-axis motion is activated by the Z-stepper motor in which turns the threaded rod. Finally, I'd like to point your attention to the two toggle switches on the left and the right. The one on the right, which has an up-down arrow, is used to uh, manually move the Z-axis table up and down. On the left, you can switch the toggle right and left to move the VAT to the left and right as well. This concludes the overview of the hardware features of the B9 Creator.